Hey, y'all just wanted to address something because somebody sent this to me asking me to comment on it. So here it is. So we have more lies from Restoring the Faith, Mike Parrott, who has been known to engage in multiple acts of slander and public lies, um, not only in reference to myself, but also church militant and others. Unfortunately, it looks like he did not learn his lesson after he lost the lawsuit with church militant related to uh, questions of defamation. Here he is continuing to show that he hasn't really changed or repented. Let me show you a screen here. They say receipts, this religion and wife changing liars, talking about me, promotes the bogus ordo from the sidelines and then references me, why I chose Catholicism over Eastern Orthodoxy. And then they reference a screenshot of when I was the parish youth safety admin at an Orthodox parish when I used to be Eastern Orthodox. They show the screenshot of when I used to be an admin. They don't tell you the dates or anything like that. Let me show you how to do proper investigation, Mike, from Restoring the Faith. Here's how. I Googled the link to the parish youth safety admin that you shared. I just simply Googled it. And here's what I came up with. This is how you properly investigate something. One hit, there it is. This is the document that you used. And guess what it says for its source? A PDF document in 2020. Huh. What year is it right now? 2023, right? So something from 2020 doesn't really tell you a whole lot about 2023. What year did I come back? The end of 2019. Makes sense that they would still have it listed since I had only recently returned to communion with Rome. Why didn't you share that information, Mike? And then they say confirmed Michael Lofton belongs to an Eastern Orthodox parish. This is by some random person named Alberto, who's also sharing this, restoring the faith. Um, here, here's the deal. I've been very clear that I used to be Eastern Orthodox. And yeah, at the time I was a parish youth safety admin. How bad is that? That doesn't mean that I'm still Eastern Orthodox or that I still attend an Eastern Orthodox parish. That's not true. So here's my advice to you, Mike Parrott from Restoring the Faith. You already have tried to dox me, as I've showed publicly before, and you failed miserably when you did that. You came up with the bogus claim that I'm funded by Bishop Barron in Opus Day, and you said that you had proof. And so when people asked you for proof, they really pushed you for an answer. Your answer was, well, you know, I'm just assuming it. So basically, you engage in wild speculation and then decide to publicly slander and lie about a person. I already addressed the fact that you've done that once. Now you're doing it once again, and you just lost a lawsuit with Church Militant for this problem. Do you really think it's wise to continue to do this? You are a liar. Stop engaging in lying. That is against one of the Ten Commandments. This is just very basic, fundamental Catholicism 101. Do not bear false witness. Just because you see a screenshot of when I used to be a parish youth safety admin doesn't tell you anything about me today. And I've been very clear that I'm no longer Eastern Orthodox. So why continue to spread lies? You're really bad at verifying information from what I can tell. So just stop. You're not a good investigator. It's time to move on. Admit that you were wrong. Publicly repent for your sins. And maybe you can save some face at this point. Now, what I'm going to do is include in these show notes links where you can go to see where Mike Parrott from Restoring the Faith has been caught in multiple lies in deposition statements and in other places. Take a look at it yourself. Be warned, this man constantly bears false witness against others and should be rebuked. And then ask yourself this question, if they bear false witness against just laity, imagine how often they do it against the hierarchy. All right. Thanks for watching. God bless.